Hey everybody, we get asked a lot, why should I invest in real estate? It can seem confusing, it can seem overwhelming, uh, maybe it's hard to get a bunch of money to be able to put down, uh, but I wanna differentiate real estate investing from other investing. So if I'm investing in something like precious metals, right, the value is gonna go up or the value is gonna go down. If I invest in the stock market, value goes up or down, and they have some dividends, so you can earn some money that way. But in real estate, there's quite a few different levers that can work in your favor, and even if one of those levers doesn't, you have other ones that do. So number one, we've got rents. Rents are coming in, paid by the tenants, so it's money that you don't have to put in, the money's coming to you uh, as a result of the rents that the tenants are paying. Number two, you've got a decreased mortgage balance. So because the rent's coming in, you're paying off your mortgage every month, that balance is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, not as a result of any additional money that you're gonna have to put into that property. Number three, you have appreciation. So leveraged appreciation is even better along with this because I'm gonna put down 25% typically for a rental property, but the appreciation that happens on the asset is over 100% of the asset. So you're kind of getting a four to one appreciation on your money. If the building appreciates at let's just say 5% a year, I'm putting 25% down. It's kind of like 20% uh, return on my money in terms of that appreciation. And then the fourth thing is because of that appreciation, I'm hedging against inflation. So as inflation goes up, typically it's because the costs of goods and services going up. And so typically rents and home values go up as well. And so the money that's in that asset is being hedged as inflation continues to rise. Number five, you've got depreciation, right? So on my taxes, I'm able to depreciate, depreciate that asset over time. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got number six, which is additional tax benefits. So the expenses that I'm paying on that property, there's more things that I can deduct on my taxes, which is gonna lower my tax threshold. And then the last thing is, the last two things is, uh, it's a tangible asset. So some people really like about real estate, it's something I can physically touch and feel versus a stock. I don't necessarily have uh, that, that same tangibility and if some, uh, you know, some idiot C-level employee does something stupid, that affects my stock. But here, it's an asset that's tangible. I can go look at it, I can touch it and feel it, and so people like investing in those tangible assets. And then the last thing, number eight, is the legacy. It's something that I can pass on to people in the future um, if I want to, if not, no worries, um, but I have that ability. And so a lot of people like to invest in real estate for that potential legacy in the future. So there you have it eight ways that real estate is a great investment. If you're looking to get started investing, if you have questions, reach out to me, happy to help.